I've been through too much. I've been talked about too much. I've been lied on too much. Too many folk have died in my family. I've been misunderstood too much. I've been stabbed in the back too much. I've been through too much. I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I can't, I can't afford to wait till Sunday morning. I'm, <laughs> there are a group of folk that are David and Renee and Janetta and Curry and Linda. It's a, it's, a, it's a core group of folk that get on the phone every morning, six days a week. And they pray for me and my family. They pray for you. Amen. They pray for each other. We, we've been through too much to wait till Sunday morning to try to try to act like we're worshiping God. A few more days. Just a few more days. That's all we really have down here. Somebody say amen. We, we all just only have a few more days. That's all. Amen. Listen, in, in, um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, street light is coming on. That's right. Um, we're going to look at this Psalm 34 for a second, if the Lord lets us um, for a second. Um, thank you, uh, Brother Clay. Um, thank you, um, Brother Little Rock. We're going to look at, we're really going to look at the first 10 verses. They're about. I'm going to leave you on your honor to read them. Uh, read these first 10 verses um, on your own uh, concurrently. Um, you help yourself to read the entire third or fourth number of Psalm if you so desire, but especially the first 10 verses. And, and we're going to look at this with the thought in mind, no matter what, no matter, no matter what. Now, in order for anyone to really um, follow me today, I need to say as soon as right now that you must understand um, two things first <laughs> if you're going to follow if you're going to follow me today at all. You got you have to understand two things off the bat. Those two things are confidence and attitude. Are you with me so far? Have I lost, have I lost anybody on the first sentence? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I simply mean in order to have an easy time getting with the sermon, being able to follow along and just to be able to make it as simple as possible, I, I want to think about these two things. The first one is confidence, and the second one is attitude. Yeah, I, I hear both confidence and attitude within Psalm 34 today as we, as we look at, read, and study a portion of this for a while. And I don't want to go anywhere. I, don't, I do not want to go where I don't need to go, but I do want to acknowledge of course, who I am talking to, who the, Lord's ha who the Lord has me speaking to. I, I mean, I'm talking to you. And I know that. Um, I know you, Greater Little Rock. And by that, I mean I, I recognize that somebody in this building uh, knows what it means to talk 
with confidence and attitude. Are you still with me? Um, I know who I'm talking to. I know, I know who's in the building. I, I'm talking to people who have survived off of attitude and confidence, if nothing else. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. When, when money is low, I know you know how to make it to the next paycheck. You know how to make it with confidence <laughs> and attitude. When, 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 when friends are few, when no one is around who can help, when you really need help, I know that you know how to go another week. Shoot, you can go two, three more months with nothing but confidence <laughs> and attitude. I know who I'm talking to. Um, I, I, I know you know how to take a little and make a lot. No milk for cereal? That ain't no problem. Get some water. It'll be all right. I know who I'm, ta I know who I'm talking to. Uh, French fries, no ketchup. Put a little water in that bottle. Shake it up. Spread it on out. Help yourself. It's red. I know, uh, who, I know I'm talking. I know who I'm talking to. Um, uh, you, 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 you know how to, you, 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 you know how to take uh, two pair of jeans and wear them during the week. Folk think you got four or five pairs. 